intravenous cannulation in three simple steps. But before that, what are the prerequisites for IV cannulation? At number one, explain the procedure to the patient and also go through the reports of the patient, the CPP, platelet counts and their medical history. Perform hand hygiene with soap or alcoholic hand rub. Then prepare the equipment. The equipment includes tonique, cotton or gauge base, an IV cannula. Then we have a dressing or cannula fix, a 2 ml syringe and a 3-way stop cock with 10 cm extension and a pair of gloves. Here we are using a 20 gauge Canulex cannula by Farca Healthcare. Now the step 1 is to identify a good vein. Apply the tonic above the site of cannulation. Disinfect the area with alcohol swab. Identify a great vein. Dilate the vein by gently tapping over the vein and let this site dry. Alright, now moving on to step 2 which is insertion of the IV cannula. Check whether all parts of IV cannula are operational. Here we are using an alpha secure cannula by Forca Healthcare. And this cannula has got a hidden safety feature. It has a fully automated accidental needle stick injury prevention mechanism. After removing the needle from the cannula, you can see that there is a metal cap. This metal cap does not allow any needle prick. This is especially very helpful when you are dealing with a HIV or Hepatitis B patient. Now stretch the skin over the vein gently with non-dominant hand. Insert the cannula at an angle of 15 to 30 degrees to the skin. Successful cannulation shows filling of the needle and the flashback chamber with blood. Now partially withdraw the needle and advance the catheter into the vein. Advancing the needle furthermore can lead to double puncture of the vein. Release the tonic from the forearm. Apply gentle pressure above the cannula tip with a finger to occlude the vein and then remove the needle. Attach a lure lock cap to the cannula. And step 3 is securing the cannula and testing. Note down the date and time on the adhesive dressing. Secure the cannula slowly without displacing the catheter. Flush the three-way stopcock with extension with normal saline. Attach it to the cannula and flush the cannula with normal saline. No bump or swelling near the tip. No pain to the patient and a free flow of the saline through the vein ensures the correct placement of the cannula. Now if you also want to order the Canulex cannulas and other wide range of high quality medical devices manufactured by Forca Healthcare or you want to recommend them to your institute or hospital then you can visit their website www.forcahealthcare.com or email to hello at the rate of forcahealthcare.com or you can call the given number. The Instagram and the YouTube links are there in the description. And yes, do not forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you in the next video.